I didn't want to make this video. I really didn't. I never thought I'd make a video like this, but you know what? I'm kind of kind of disappointed, man. I really am, man. Man United shambles, 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 mate. The transfer window for me diabolical, mate. Man United Football Club diabolical. Seriously, man. I, I I'm lost for words, man, because I thought Man United would come out. Show a bit of, you know, courage. Show a bit of ambition. Ambition. You know what I mean? I think... Would they would they, would they, would they improve as a football club? Could they improve as a football club? Would they go one step further? Could they do it? And I thought to myself, yep, third. Three semi-finals. All right, cool. Not the best. But let's push on. Let's push on. Let's move on. Let's go far. With Oliver Solskjaer, limited. I don't know, understand. Not my preferred manager. But where's the ambition of this football club? To have a striker who's not played since February. Could be world class. Could score goals. I'm not sure. A left back. Donny van der Beek. And a few teenagers who haven't made it. My United Football Club. We're talking about here. Manchester United Football Club. For me, not good enough. Simply, simply not good enough, man. My United Football Club is a disgrace, mate. It's a disgrace for every single fan here. I pay 700 quid, mate. 700 quid for what, man? 700 quid. I should see the best in talent. should see the best in ambition. should see the best manager, best owners, best recruitment system, best medical department, best everything in the world, mate. I don't care, man. Manchester United Football Club, an elite club. But you know what? We are not an elite club. By We are an elite club by name. But we don't act like it. And them man there, that banker, is a disgrace, mate. The Glazers, for me, are a parasite to any sport in world football. In anything, sorry. Any sport in the world, yeah. For me, they're parasites, man. How can they do this to us, man? How on earth, yeah, have they got away with this for the last 15 years, man? 15 years, yeah. We could have improved in this squad. We were daylight ahead of Man City. Daylight ahead of, of uh, what's it called, um, Liverpool. In structure, in, in the way we were, we, were, we were so powerful as a football club. We were powerful. We were the, the creme de la creme, man. The best of the best. And we let Liverpool, Man City, Leicester, Wolves, all these teams... Go ahead of us in recruitment. Go ahead of us in the best facility departments, trading departments, every single thing you name it. They went ahead of us, man. And I'm just thinking to myself, why? Why has this been allowed to happen? Just ask yourselves that. Why has this been allowed to happen? Because you know why? They simply do not give a shit. And we are not powerful to stand up and stand up for what we believe in, man. That is why, man, yeah? It's, this has become now a political movement, mate. This has become a political movement, mate. I don't give a shit, man. If there's a political movement happening, yeah, they stand up, they rise up for their rights, and they get it, man. This is a right, man. I don't care. If you're a Manchester United fan, it's a right to be challenging for top four. It's a right to be challenging for trophies. It's a right to be, you know, have the best players in, in every department. Man. It's a right, mate. Manchester United Football Club, it's a right to do that. And I'm just thinking to myself, yeah, Cavani, I love Cavani. That's 10 years too late, five years too late. You know what I'm trying to say to you? That right hand side Sancho was crying out for Sancho. Get it over and done with. You've paid 10 million in fees for Cavani. You've paid astronomical fees probably for his wages. You've paid all this money around you, yeah, but you haven't got the best thing that will elevate your game, will elevate Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, will elevate their team to go even further and further. But what do we do? We absolutely have bottled it, bottled it again, man. And that is why I'm absolutely, I'm lost for words, man. And this will probably become a passionate rant because at the end of the day, I, I, I've, just, I've just had enough, mate. I really, really, I've had enough of this board. These parasites here at this football club, they're killing the football club. They are killing the, the, the enablement of the team to go further, man. Teams are actually coming against us. Wolves. Them teams there have been allowed to come up and say, you know what? We're going to fight with you. We're going to fight to get your trophy. We're going to come to your level. We're going to be there and we're going to fight for top four. Leicester, I understand they had a miracle title, but it's still toe-to-toe -to -toe with Manchester United. With Manchester United, they are toe-to-toe -to -toe and they're saying to us, we're going to fight on you. How has this been possible? How has everything been allowed to happen like this? I just don't know. 
And it's, it's, it's pains me here to see that my United could be an AC Milan. It could be a dynasty about to fall. It literally could be a dynasty about to fall. It really could be. And it, you know what, mate? It, it pains me, man. And sooner or later, I might as well, I might, I might, fall, in, might fall out of love with my United. I really will do, mate. I might end up just saying, you know what? Is a season ticket even worth it, man? Is my time and my money worth it to go see my United Football Club who don't give a damn about us? They don't give a damn about us. They don't. Because they're seeing a football club that is absolutely... You know, they've got a yes man in Oli. And I'll say it to you right and clear, mate. They've got a yes man in Oli. They've got a man who they can say to him, you know what? You're happy with that, aren't you? Well, you know what? Yeah, good, mate. I didn't ask for your opinion, but yeah, good, mate. That is all we've got. And we really, really have to got this, mate. And I'm, you know what? I'm sick of this, man. I'm sick of... And I'm, I'm worried, mate. There's a lot of City fans there, me. Never, never in a million years would you see a City fan there, me. But I've seen it grow and grow and grow. Because you know why? There's a, there's a, there's a vision to believe in. There's an absolute vision to believe in. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a know-how to say, you know what? We're going to be going further and further. Champions League, we're talking now. And it's sad to, sad to say that we've allowed this to happen. Because you know why? We've let these glazers take over this empire. I can't mention United Empire because it is an empire. It's a global, global phenomenon. It really is. People don't realise the mask of how much United have gone globally as, as, as a world football enterprise, mate. But now, <laughs> we are an enterprise. We are literally a commercial club. Commercial club in value. Commercial club in, in corporates. Commercial club in hospitality, mate. There's people that come to hospitality. People don't realise it yet. You come to hospitality, go out for the day, go home. They don't give a shit, do they? As long as where's, what's coming through? The money. The money's coming through the football club and they don't care. They really, really don't care about this football club. And it, you know what? I don't know, man. Some, some, something will tell me, you know what I mean? Like, if this keeps going on for the next five or ten years, we will become that AC Milan that's a scrambled. Where the money and the dividends, they said, you know what? We'll take the dividends. We'll take the money that will spread it about with the Glazers. I don't know, man. This is a time for protest. I don't know, man. Because the protest has come, it's failed. We're not united as a fan base. We are not united as a fan base. And until we do that, yeah, until we do that, yeah, nothing will ever be sorted in this football club. Never. Nothing will ever be sorted in this football club. Because in our own fan base, we're split. We're split in opinion. We're split in what, what we believe in. We're split in our targets, our ambitions. That's what we're split on. We can't even come to agreement. You know what I mean? And I just feel like, you know what I mean? Like, everyone can have their own right opinion, but we need to come as a common goal. The common goal is to take these Woodward and the Glazers out of our football club. Period, yeah? Absolutely, period. Get these guys out of our football club. Because we're now going into a season, yeah? You don't realise this, man. We're going into a season now where we're playing the likes of Paris and Germain, Chelsea, Arsenal. Only could be gone by November. And again, you know what? The cycle will come up again. I know people, I know I want Pochettino, I know I want all these managers, but you know what? The cycle could happen again and again, because you know why? The football club do not care. They'll say, you know what? Yeah, here's some money, get to the top four. We won't pay you money because you were there on your own merit. You worked hard for it. So you know what? You don't deserve that money now. You can work with a, with a tight budget. And that's what my United are, mate. A tight budget FC. You know what I mean? Interested FC, inquired FC, monitoring FC, everything FC but Manchester United FC. And that pains me. It really, really does pain me. And I'm I think this is time to it. This is time now to, to be a collective force, mate, because I don't see us winning the title this season. I don't even see us winning the trophy. I really, really don't. We don't have the squad depth, we don't have the mentality up there, we don't have players that can be leaders. You know what I mean? And it just pains me to say, you know, where's the direction of this football club? We've got owner, we've got uh, owners who are inept. We've got a manager who's inept. We've got coaches that are inept. Every facility in this football club is inept. Inept, man. And you're telling me a football club should progress. For what, man? From what 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 kind of roots can you progress from? If if you cannot have the best facilities and the best standards in football, how can you how can you progress? Is is an absolute criminal if you think about it like that, man. And I'm just like to say to myself now, the, the, the transfer would have been shambles. It's an absolute farce how we've got away with this. And you know what? No one will bat an eyelid. No one will bat an eyelid. As soon as we, Cavani gets the three goals, it's like, yeah. But yeah, well, you know, that was that was well worth it, wasn't it? No, mate. It's not well worth it, mate. I'm still on this football glaze. And you know what now? My sole aim, my sole, my sole 
purpose now is getting these guys out of the football club. I will be backing any banner that goes out there. I will be backing any protest. If anyone wants to protest, if anyone wants to bring out a banner, if anyone wants to do anything that is possible, let me know, mate. Let me know. Where's the football club going? Where is the football club going? It's a worrying time, mate. If you're not worried right now, and you're watching this video, be worried. Be worried where this football club is going because it's a commercial club. It's a it's a club that is based on financial value. It's a club that based on 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 sharing money to, to make dividends and, and and to give out money to the Glazers and let them share it between us. I've had enough, mate. I've had enough of these Glazers, mate. And I want them out. I want them out at all costs, mate. I don't care if we get relegated and the Glazers leave. I'll be happy. And, and that is scary to say that, yeah. But that is the only reason, the only way that these Glazers will leave when the club does not have any value left. Then we can move on. Life moves on. Life moves on. Football moves on. We go up, we go up, we go up. We go up again. Because at least then we don't have the Glazers to say, you know what? We're taking this money out of you. We're taking one billion out of the football club. One billion, guys. They've not even put a single billion to this football club. Man City owner, what's he done? Putting money into the football club. Investing into the city. Investing into the heartbeat of East Manchester. What has this football club and these Glazers done for me? What's it done for the community? Nothing at all. My night's supposed to be a community club. It's supposed to be a community club. It's supposed to, you know what I mean, get the next generation of my night fans going. Has it really? Has it really? Does anyone want to be a United fan anymore? I'm, I'm just on the brink, mate. I really am, man. I'm struggling to support this team. It's awful from the pitch to top to bottom. This football club is awful. And you know what? I don't think I can bear it anymore. I really don't. I don't think I can bear any of this anymore. And, I, and, I, and it just pains me, man. This football club is killing us. It's killing the football club. And it's just killing every fan. Every hope that you have. Every hope that you will ever have. It's going to be tarnished because you've got these guys at the top who simply have no footballing knowledge. No footballing ambitions. They have nothing, mate. They have absolutely nothing at all. Guys, we need to be ready. We need to be ready. We need to come together, unite. Unity is one. We are one by United fans. Unite. Glazers out. Woodward out. Get the ball out of this football club. Now.